Today we're going to play with sound. So your first file is a sample file where you're going to work with the zombie and ghost and vampire and werewolf sounds. Um, we have created a file with four large buttons. Artwork was done by Jason Niehoff. And we've got ghost, vampire, um, werewolf, and zombie. And I have sounds for you that you can use. They're in your uh, file folder in Angel. And then we have some basic code. We're creating a ghost request, which is a URL request to get the ghost MP3 file. And we're creating ghost as a sound, which is a new sound. Then we have a ghost control. This gives us a lot more controls than just <coughs> a plain sound would have because it allows you to stop sounds as well as start them, which will become very important. Before we do anything, we want to load the ghost file, and then on complete we enable it so we can click the button. These are all saved in the same file folder, which is why we don't have a path here. Um, when we play, we're going to have it stop the sound. So let me show what it does without that first. It will keep playing new ones without stopping the previous sound. So we have stop sounds, which is going to have each of my controls in here so that when I run it, yeah, 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 it will only play one sound at a time. Yeah. It will turn all other sounds off first. Okay, so to create new sounds, we can pretty much copy this code. And I'll do one more. You should finish this for practice. We'll also do the vampire. So we'll make this vamp request. We'll call this one vampire. Make sure you check your files because some of them are named a little funky. Um, I have them in flash sounds here, so vampire is vampire. Then I've got my sound channel equals new sound channel for ghost. So I need one for vamp. 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 Now here we can copy in our oncomplete, we need to copy this statement for each sound. So we'll copy this and we'll paste it in and we'll change it to vampire so that when the vampire loads, sound loads, its button is en enabled. And then we'll copy this where it'll play the vampire. So we want to do play vamp. This should be, I think it's a vampire button. When in doubt, either go look or use your target path. Okay, it's just vamp button. This is optional. It's put in when you're using the Pathfinder. I'm going to select and copy Play Ghost. And again, we want to call it Control Sound, and here it will be Vamp Control equals vamp and we're going to want to also do the stop control vamp control dot stop and you should practice you should do this to practice you should finish the other two oops duplicate function definition so I missed 
this one should be play vamp you mu you must you must you Vampire must and the zombie are saying the same thing. So I must have a problem where that's a repeating sound. We'll just try this with my... Let's see. Oh, Vampire MP3. MP3. Take a look at what it's doing here. Ah, I'm loading the wrong control for it right here. So that should be VAMP request. I don't know why it's still doing that in Finder. There we go. So now let's try it again. Yeah. Yeah. And so you could keep going and finish them. Now you do have a jukebox assignment for next week. There's a jukebox file, and you should do the same things where you're starting and stopping sounds with the buttons on the jukebox, and the sound, the stop sounds should stop all ex all playing songs currently. That's what's due for next week, and it's just adding four songs. Make sure you're using royalty free, and I recommend clipping them down to about 30 seconds.